All right, we have another interesting integral from MIT 2022, regular season 17. I know two ways for this one. One of them, I'm going to skip though. You kind of notice that we could think of this like a three, four, five triangle. And you could use, it's in the form for angle addition where like, you know, these values are obviously constants, but you could put it in the form of the angle addition formula for sine. We'll skip that and look to do something else. What's tempting, I mean, one thing that's tempting, if the constants were different, this would just be one. Clearly that doesn't work. But what I was thinking at first was, what if I did a u substitution for that? So we'll set u equal to three sine x plus four cosine x. We'll take a derivative and see what happens. So then derivative here is going to be three cosine x. The derivative here, we have a minus sign coming out, so we have minus four cosine x dx and no i clearly made a mistake. that should be a sign right there so we have minus four sine x and what i was thinking at first is that maybe we could just match this to our numerator so we have the three cosine x we have four sine x but we've got the wrong sign this is minus here so the next thing my thinking would be trying to force that to happen we could like subtract off eight sine x the only thing is if you do that and you force this, you can make that happen, but then you get another integral that's not any easier than this one. So what I decided instead is to do it a little bit of a different way. Partially let's use this, so I'll split it into two integrals. One, I'll set up exactly how I want it. So we'll create this numerator here exactly like this. Now, because this is perfectly set up, this one's gonna be easy, of course. And then what I'll do to go along with it is create another easy integral, same exact denominator. And then here on this one to make it work, I mean, it's not gonna be the same exact thing, that wouldn't make sense, but I can create it to be exactly the same as this. I can create an integral that's just one. So we'll do three sine x plus four cosine x. So, okay, so now I've created two very easy integrals. This one's gonna be natural log of this. This one's just one, so we just integrate this to x. The only thing is, if we just did like a plus sign here and you add across, now you've got three sine x minus four sine x is minus sine x. Doesn't match four right there. Here you get four plus three cosine x should be seven cosine x. Doesn't match that. So what we did here doesn't really work, but what we can do is make it work for some constant where what we'll do is I can just kind of create like, it's gonna work for some constant as long as, I think the only rule on this is you can't have it be a linear combination of one or the other. They have to be like linear independent. So anyway, we'll use an A coefficient on this one and we'll have some B coefficient on this one. And then we just need to solve it, like distributing out. Now these constants should make this make sense. What I mean is like here, if we distribute in this a, we're gonna have three a sine x. Over here, we're gonna have minus four b sine x. And then to make it work with our original problem, we needed to match this. So it needs to be the same thing as four sine x. Then we do the exact same thing with our cosine term. So we want four a cosine x over here plus three b cosine x needs to equal this coefficient, positive three cosine x. But you notice the sine and cosines are actually not necessary here because they all just cancel out. And it's just, I'm just doing that for show. So you could just remove this and you've got a simple two equations, two unknowns. Solve this however you like by substitution, by like a matrix, adding the two equations. It's a little messy though, because like I said, you have to the uh, coefficients don't line up, so you end up with fractions. But when you do this out, what you're gonna find is A is gonna be 24 over 25 on this, and the B value is gonna be minus seven over 25. And if you wanna check it, if you didn't solve this, you could just plug these back in. You'll notice that these values work for this system of equations. So what we'll do is we'll just take the A and B value and plug it in here as our constants in front of each of these integrals. And now because we set up the integrals exactly how we want it, it's basically all done because we really, the hardest part is finding the constants. And now this is just one. So we integrate it in this first part is going to be 24 over 25 X. And over here, sorry, that's going to be minus seven over 25. But we know what this is. This is just natural log 
absolute value of u. But we already know what our u is. If we back substitute, it's just this numerator, sorry, the denominator right there. So let me just plug it straight in, save some writing. So what we have here for our final solution is gonna be 24 over 25x minus seven over 25 natural log, absolute value three sine x plus four cosine x, add a plus c and that's it. Okay, so there you go, pretty nice problem. These come up pretty regularly where you just need to solve the constant. And like I said before, there's different ways. You could have done it straight away with trigonometry. That's kind of, I don't know which way is easier. It's just kind of a personal preference, I suppose. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.